we've been given direction that the next man and the first woman on the South Pole of the Moon will be Americans. Um, and, and we're working hard towards that as we build the coalition of nations to go with us to the moon. The reality is the United States of America has the preponderance of the assets. And so uh, it makes sense that our, uh, our astronauts would be the first, or I should say the next, <laughs> to walk on the moon. Um, I would also say that um, when we think about these first time missions with brand new equipment, um, I would say being a test pilot gives an astronaut a, a significant advantage. So I, I can't guarantee that the first person is going to be a military pilot, um, but if you look at what we're doing with commercial crew, which is how we're getting our astronauts to the International Space Station for the first time since the retirement of the space shuttles back in 2011, those first crews for commercial crew um, are uh, are test pilots and most test pilots come from the military um, and there's a reason for this. Uh, test pilots have a unique set of skills uh, to be able to accomplish very challenging tasks under sometimes great pressure um, and to stay cool calm and collected while they're doing never before done <laughs> kind of things. So um, I think test pilots are a significant capability for NASA and I think it's likely that on that first crew there will be at least one test pilot.